In fact, Walnow just this past week said that Kamala Harris, you can't even hear her speaking because it's just demons speaking through her. Now, before I go further on this subject, I need to say something. Uh, I've come to believe that the 7M mandate is deeply flawed theological model, not supported by the teachings or life examples of Jesus. And for those of you who may not be familiar with this, the basic teaching is that the kingdom of God and the Great Commission uh, referred to in Matthew 28, 16 to 20, uh, are tied to taking certain mountains of culture or influence and expanding the overarching presence of the mountain of God upon them through our influence. The seven mountain mandate ideology is subversive now and, and causing many to run after positional and transactional leadership rather than seeking the transformational leadership based on the work of building relationships, the word of God, and the empowering, leading, guiding, and directing of the Holy Spirit. And therefore, today, I want to publicly apologize to my former students and other hearers for promoting this doctrine. After weeks of prayer, research, and study, I realized that this teaching is not in line with the true message of Christ. The ideal of dominating and controlling society goes against everything that Jesus taught us about humility, love, and servant leadership. As I delve deeper into this doctrine and, and how it is being used to manipulate people today, I started to see the danger and harm it can cause. The ideal of taking control of institutions goes against the very essence of the gospel. To love our neighbors as ourselves and to be a light in the world, not a force of domination. Again, I want to sincerely apologize to anyone who may have been uh, misguided, misled by my previous teaching. It was never my intention to spread a harmful agenda, but rather to fulfill what I believe was my calling as a teacher of the Word of God. And I do thank you for humbly listening to my apology. And I pray that we can move forward together, uniting in our mission to spread the unconditional love and grace of our Savior and to uh, legitimately uh, represent Christ and the purpose and destiny of his coming to save us so that we can be agents of uh, advancing his kingdom in a way that is pleasing to God. Today I stand before you with a renewed understanding of the true message of Christ. And we are not called to take control of society but rather to serve and love it. That is our power of influence. 